How are you guys doing today? Today I, I bought myself a Predator uh, 3500, the Ultra Quiet from uh, Harbor Freight. <clears throat> now, let's see, um, I've seen other videos on here. I'm gonna go over it, do the fact as some of the videos I've seen um, don't come with certain things. So, let's come out the back here. That was a little case, a bag. So I'm gonna dump it out just halfway. Um, it comes out with a comes with a spark plug, um, <clears throat> a wrench. Uh, this is a tool for the wrench, and then this is a Phillips screwdriver. I believe maybe for the carburetor, and then it comes with a adapter to charge your battery on your camper and your truck or whatever. So there's that comes with the comes with the bag. Um, comes with a uh, funnel. So I put a little bit of oil in it. It seemed low. It's it's the oil is just so clear. It's hard to tell. And the dipstick they they use is a orange color. So you take the cap off here of the side uh, door, and then. Uh, you drain it. I believe it says to change oil every eight hours. I believe you had to take this whole entire panel off. So I don't have a paper towel with me. I was just using the uh, thing. But if you could tell, I mean, it's orange. So it's hard to tell. I put a little bit in there, and that's it's at the same mark it was before. So I would assume that they would put oil in there before they ship it out they have to at least start it So I bought this for my uh, truck, cam uh, truck camper. Um, it doesn't have a generator. It's set up for a generator. But if you guys know, they RV generators for the 2500 watt, I believe it is, are like $2,000 from it's a dollar a watt. So then another thing is, uh, here's the instructions for it. And then here's uh, the starting procedure for it and then this is why I did the here it is the 30 amp uh, twist lock RV adapter now the videos I've seen none of them showed it they said don't come with it uh, the other ones showed that he had to buy um, two different adapters one from the 30 amp to his 50 amp so this one comes with it I don't know if it's something new or not um, but like I said I bought it uh, the other day from uh, Horror Freight and I used my coupon. I think I paid like I took care of the tats. So pretty much it was like seven ninety nine, and then I used my coupon. I believe it would took it down to seven forty nine. So I pretty much took care of the tats on it. So I'm going to get the uh, gas can and then I'm going to start it. I'm gonna take it out of the uh, the shed. I have it in the shed for now because we're not going to camping yet. Uh, forever up with you guys.
All right, sorry about that. Uh, I forgot to put gas in it. <laughs> I made a little bit of uh, a mess. I recommend... I like the older gas cans better. These ones that they have now, the new standards. fuel line in there I filled it up this I believe is two gallons someone said and it says to put it on position for three seconds I would make uh, someone said different kind of gas can I have a big five gallon so it's kind of hard to do right. so here's the starting room instructions right here again um, you got your 30 amp here, you got your, uh, I guess, uh, parallel, uh, two generators, you got the reset buttons here, one to an outlet, and then you got your battery, uh, what do you want to call it, battery, uh, charging, uh, plug, the, the plug I showed you, the reset for that, and then the uh, ESC throttle for a quiet mode. And then here's a uh, the start right here. Uh, zero hours are zero hours on this. Something. Let's see what happens. Oh, I don't know if the battery's dead or. that off the cover off maybe the battery's not uh, hooked up oh stop Have a great video. I'll try to use this thing as I'm working. So, the battery is not plugged in. So, here are the wires for it. Now, I wish they would have uh, said anything. I didn't see nothing about the uh, battery need to be plugged in. I read the uh, manual real quick. So, if you get one of these generators... I don't know if it's a uh, Predator or it's all of them. With their uh, remote start, or, or not remote start, for the easy start. You have to hook at the battery. So it comes with these little screws right here. Oh, that's nice. They already have a hole in it. Here I am. So, so let's say I'm missing the lock washer. I don't see it anywhere.
found it. This is a tight area. Looks like they, uh, the, the nut. If you just, I don't know, want to zoom in. Slides in the bottom. And I believe there's a washer and lock washer going on top. It's hard for the long video. So I'm not sure about this battery. I don't know if it uh, needs to be replaced every so often or not. It, it should be alright. So I just put uh, the zone is the instructions uh, for the battery. So I just put the washer, the uh, lock washer, and then. I just put the, the terminals or connectors on straight and just slide it in there. And just sits in there. There's a little fastener and it's looks on the bottom right here. So I just used the Phillips screwdriver that came with the uh, the kit and the little tool bag. So it's saying there's low oil still. Oh, stop it. So it's saying there's low oil. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more oil uh, in it. Oh, I'm not even recording. No, I'm still recording. Oh, Paula, stop it. I'm not sure how much oil this thing's going to take. Put more walls in there. 
Now, it didn't come with any oil, so, I mean, unless I missed in the bots, it was uh, raining and I was trying to get in the backyard. So, as of right now, almost a quart in here of oil. You would think for what you uh, pay for, it should come with some kind of oil. So the instructions did say that if it's low in oil, it will not start. So. So a quarter is too much, it's coming out now, so.
right, sorry about a long video. Let's try this again. So, there it is right there. All started up. real quiet uh, I mean it's probably quieter than the the generator that comes with the Lance truck campers um, I don't have anything really to plug it up with let me see if I could here's an old vacuum cleaner this should be 1200 watts I believe I'll plug it in real quick louder than the generator is. Alright. That's about it. So, uh, two things. Um, you gotta hook up the battery. You gotta top off the oil. There's no oil in here at all. Um, I'll double check the box. So there's no oil that comes in here. Um, yeah, it's my fault. I I should have checked how full it was. I overflowed it. So this probably takes almost uh, almost a quart of oil. Uh, they say use a SA SAF uh, 1030 on it. Uh, but right now that's pretty quiet. You guys uh, take care and. Uh, I'll do a review on this uh, generator when you got to use it with the camper. Like I said, that vacuum cleaner was probably like 1200 watts and it powered no problem at all. You guys take care.